Yeah, you were talking about side effects from too much DHT in right. women and in men. Right. And the list for women, the first item on the list is male pattern baldness. Right. So what so is? If you, so you, if you have facial hair, then you have a high risk of getting baldness up here. Now, if it's bilateral on both sides of your head then that's, start, that's male pattern baldness. So is that truly bald or is it like really thin where it's you can really see the thin. scalp through it? It's really thin, but there are some women who lose all their hair here yeah. and then they have baldness up on the crown of their head. Okay. So that's male pattern baldness. Now if all your hair is thin, that is thyroid, not enough estrogen, it's not male pattern. It's, that's all the hair. But if okay. it's just here and here, and that's DHT. And so we have to attack the right thing. You don't want to be taking the wrong medicine or putting the wrong thing on your, on your head because you have, you're treating the wrong thing. You'll miss treating the right thing. Mm -hmm. so, so that's when, when women have this and this, we see it in young women who have polycystic ovaries. They have a lot of, they have a lot of DHT. They have a little more testosterone than most women. And they have um, sex hormone binding globulin is a globulin that inactivates testosterone and DHT, and it's very low in those women. So there's a lot more active. So they have that, they have cysts on their ovaries, they have insulin resistance, they gain weight, they get facial hair, they have breast hair, they have belly hair. It, it's, it, it like flips on when they're in their teens usually. And it's a scary change. They like become an entirely different body. But the driving symptom of that is that they have polycystic ovaries. Right. That it's the it's a genetic uh, combination mm -hmm. that that some people have more of the baldness. Some people mm -hmm. have more of the obesity. Some people have no obesity. Infertility is a common thread.